City Council. For the record, Javier Trujillo, Director of Intergovernmental Relations. Uh, this item number is the contract uh, to contract services from Capital Edge, uh, who has represented the city in Washington, D.C. for approximately 23, 24 years. Uh, they represent us in conversations with the White House and other uh, departments or agencies where we might have interest in to submit comments, etc. cetera. Uh, they provide uh, counsel on any type of submissions that we need to submit to federal agencies and also provide support uh, when necessary uh, on items of federal interest for the city. Plus also watching out for grants and... Absolutely. They certainly uh, uh, bring to the forefront opportunities to pursue grants. Um, and uh, they provide a good service. Uh, you know, for the amount of money that we pay this consultant, I, I would argue that it's the cheapest, uh, one of the cheapest DC lobbies you can get. And the, the, the value that we get in return is certainly worth that cost. I just have a quick question. We, we would probably, I mean, we would have to do a lot of those things in-house if we didn't have the contract, correct? That is I mean, correct. We, they, there are things that we have to, we would otherwise have to figure out who's going to do them, potentially need more staff if we weren't outsourcing to this lobbyist. That is correct, Councilman. Okay. Thanks, Ms. Hendrickson. Uh, you had this pulled. Uh, any comments? Uh, I want to appreciate Mr. Haf or Mayor Haven for inviting me in. Uh, a couple weeks ago to discuss my concerns. Uh, this is how I show I care about my government, by exercising my right to free speech in front of all of you. If we sleep on our rights, we don't deserve them and we will lose all of our freedoms. City Council is the government closest to the people. If we don't speak here, then how can we expect our voices to be heard in Washington? I have emailed and phoned my elected officials in state and federal government before and gotten only automated replies, if any reply at all. I assume that my words fall on deaf ears. Yet our city is closer to Washington than most other cities are. Love him or hate him, Harry Reid is without question one of the most powerful men in Washington. He's a resident of Henderson and his son is our city attorney. I'm sure that if mayor calls him and asks what kind of grants are available, Harry should be able to point us in the right direction. Uh, we elected you and you represent our interests better than any lobbyist can. Um, we already have staff capable of researching and applying for grants. We don't need to spend an additional $60,000 for them to lobby only in Washington and not with our state as well. Additionally, according to Exhibit A in this contract, this pays for furnishing the office, secretaries, office rents, utilities, and office supplies. I did some research of my own and I don't know where I put this. But. It's on the other side, Crystal. And um, Capital Edge, okay, so their current office was up for rent last year, and it's described as seven individual, sunny, spacious, fully furnished offices. Capital Edge has seven primary lobbying individuals, so let's assume that they rent the whole suite, all seven offices, and rent is what was posted on LoopNet last year. Um, so two, office ha two offices have no windows. One office has five windows, and the others have between one and four windows. It's located between Capitol Hill and the White House. Monthly rent would be $6,650 per month, times 12 months equals $79,800. So what's our tax money really buying? Communicating with Washington is not an abstract, out-of-this-world idea. It's conceivable that the city of Henderson has more influence than most any other city. I speak up, even when no one else does, because this country is founded on the belief that unpopular speech is absolutely vital to the health of our nation. I hope I inspire you and you will not be afraid to speak up in defense of freedom and personal liberty, even when it is unpopular to do so, especially in a time of ever increasing federal overreach. I don't have the same faith in these lobbyists as you, want to, as you hire, and I hope you will deny this agenda item. And in closing, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Same to you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I appreciate those words, but uh, uh, I think Capital Edge is a very valuable, a valuable resource to us, and I'm going to move that we approve the contract. Uh, if there's no discussion, cast your votes on that motion and post. Motion passes. Thank you.